It is me, it is I, it is she, it is her, it is Lee, it is who, 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 who. I gotta shot my shoulder, my neck today. Ow, I should do a Wendy Williams thing. How are you guys doing today? It is me, it is I, it is she, 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 it is her, it is he. It is who? It is Rosie Rosette 2020. Pow. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fine, honey. I got some drugs in me. I got some steroids. Yes. Doctor was like, um, I was like, I can't sleep. Doc. I literally can't. I, I stay up all night like till four, five, six, seven. And he was like, oh, okay, well, I can give you some sleeping pills. No, 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 no. No, 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 honey. You ain't giving me like that. Uh-uh. He was like, well, these are sleeping pills and they have a light coat of make you feel good. I said, no, no, no. I don't want them crazy pills. No, 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 no. He was like, no, this is a low dose. I said, uh, let me see a little bit. I need to exercise. That's what I need to do. When I used to exercise, walk for at least an hour on the treadmill, I would be out. I would be out when I was working. Oh my goodness. I had 30 minutes. Take a shower, talk to my son, take a shower, 50 minutes, you know, all that. Talk to my son, get my bed. Excuse me. As soon as my head would hit the pillow, I was out. I had absolutely no problem. But I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. You see how big I'm getting? I'm <laughs> this girl on Facebook, you know, they got the 10 year uh, challenge thing. And she was like, whoo, it's a lot of. It's amazing how big the wide backs can be. I said, ooh, okay. Or something to the effect of in 10 years how how wide your back can get. I was like, oh my God, I never thought about it like that. My back is getting big. Okay, let's go into it. Let's get into it, okay? Because I'm telling you these numbers, these numbers are ugly and I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, so in California, because you know we do California, Texas, Florida, but Florida, you, we, we just don't know what's going on in Florida and then New York. Okay, 6 million COVID-19 infections in California, most in the U.S. Well, California is the most populated state. Duh, of course it's going to be the most in, in America. I swear these people are so stupid. California Governor Newsom's 2022 budget. I wish you'd give some stimulus up in there. I need some stimulus and some reparations. Newsom, Gavin, Gavin Newsom, where is our reparations? Bruh. California, Gavin Newsom proposes $2.7 billion to amplify COVID-19 response efforts as far as stimulus. Okay, well, you know, your girl is vice president, even though I heard that this is what I heard, or I'm hearing that her and Biden they don't get along and i i can i can see that okay um but i think kamala is what made by biden win and biden is what made kamala win so i did no 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 i'm sorry he picked her okay okay all right all right california shatters pandemic high more than one in one in five covid 19 tests are positive well, baby, guess what, honey? I ain't took one yet. I don't, want, I don't want the COVID up in my nose. Um, but you know what? Even the doctor today was like, I I really appreciate how, I think he wants to say how sterile I am. I don't want to touch the door. I, I, I You know, he told me to sit down because first I was sitting on that bed and, you know, I sat on the plastic. I made sure the plastic or that white paper touches, you know, that my body doesn't touch the, the bed at all. And then when we got, he told me, cause you know, when he gave me the shots, he was like, okay, sit here. I tore that white piece of paper off, folded it over so that, you know, my body is not touching. Ouch. My body, my body's not touching anything. And then when I, you know, got the door, I, I used my shirt. Okay. That's how you stay away from it. You don't touch anything. Mm -mm. <clears throat> anyway. And you stay home. All right. No, y'all don't want to listen. So, okay. <clears throat> Covered California enrollment begins as COVID cases surge. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, um, 11 hours ago, San Joaquin County coronavirus cases soar. California may cancel elective sur surgeries at mid-surge. Uh, Anti-vaxxer attacks COVID-19 workers at California clinic. You know, these people are just batshit crazy. I'm just going to say, these people are batshit crazy. We got damn near a million people dead and they want to attack these people want to attack others that's trying to live. They need to have their own colony somewhere, okay? You want to be on facts, go, go live over there. Go, go, go live over there. Uh, L.A. County offers COVID-19 tests for pickup and new service. Facebook owner to mandate COVID-19 vaccine boosters for office workers delay reopening. That's meta. Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Governor Newsom signs executive order in response to COVID-19. Major disaster waiting to happen. How healthcare workers react to new COVID-19 protocols that eliminates um, that eliminates quarantine for some. I I, I just don't know what to say. Uh, COVID outbreaks reported at Placerville, Auburn nursing homes as at California sea surge. COVID-19 in California, a look at pediatric hospitalizations in the Sacramento region. Eight hours ago, COVID cases surged across California. Here is a list of free Monterey County test sites, testing sites, new California COVID-19 guidelines, what to know, popular QA, QA on, QA non promoter dies of COVID-19 in California. Uh, Governor Newsom, a new actions three weeks ago. Okay, opt-ed. Omicron makes case for California senior prayer plan. Senior payer plan. Omicron makes case for California senior payer plan. What's this? What's a senior? What's a senior player's plan? COVID live updates. More than six million Californians. Okay, amid. Omicron variant surge, California Children's Hospital. Let's see. What what happened? Amid um okay, California Children's Hospital Association urges family to fully vaccinate eligible children, adults against COVID-19. County vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate a week ago. 250,000 COVID cases in eight days. Where is LA surge heading? See, I, it was L.A. from way back when. We were doing good up here, and then, boom, something something happened in L.A. I don't know if it was on the beach or what. I don't know. But they just really, they're, they're messing up our numbers. Okay. So, in California, California, all right. Oh, I'm tired. The doctor gave me them shots in my neck and my thing, and I was just like, I was like, am I going to go to, can I drive home? He was like, yeah, I was like. <laughs> all right so um let's see totals in california okay totals in california i think i might be able to go to sleep tonight because i just got like tired all right oh okay but before i start with that so today i thought my appointment was at 10 they called me yesterday you know how they confirm okay you got an appointment tomorrow at 10 o'clock okay fine so i get ready you know get up early because I leave, I, I didn't go to sleep until 4, 4.30. I was looking at some stupid, I was looking at dogs. I, I can't even get a dog. I got too much shit in here. I can't, I can't get a dog. I was looking at dogs like I'm going to buy a dog. Okay, um, so finally I went to sleep at about 4.35. Somebody, my dentist appointment, they called me to, you know, to confirm that my cancellation at 7.30. I said, don't call me before 8 o'clock again. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I, I've been here since 5.30. <laughs> That is not my problem. I did not ask you what time you've been there. That's your office hours, not mine. That's very unprofessional to call somebody before 8 o'clock unless it's a dire emergency. You could have texted me. You could have emailed me that. Anyway, so um, so I was like, oh, my God. So basically, I slept for, I've, okay, I've only slept for three hours. Maybe that's why I'm tired. Okay, I just wanted, I just wanted to show you guys, just let you share in my lack of sleep. Uh, sleep. God, why can't I always remember it? I can't. Lack of sleep. 
sleep deprivation. There it is. Okay. So in California, California has 6.27 million cases in the past 24 hours, 45 fucking thousand. 45,000 people, 631 people have contracted the virus in the past. Okay, yeah, that's in the past 24 hours. Now, you know, I don't think I did this the other day. Uh, mm. In the past 24 hours, 77,399 people. Now, this is a good thing. Twelve, Only 12 people have passed away in the past 24 hours. That's a good thing. Now, let's go to the United States. Because in the United States, 61.5 million people have been contaminated with this virus. All right? In the past 24 hours, 315,000. 315,000K. 315,000 people have contracted this virus. That's a damn shame. Now, as far as deaths in America, 838,000 people have passed away in the past 24 hours. Oh, this is, I mean, this is bad, but this is good. O only 400 people. I'm not discrediting deeming the fact that 400 people have passed away, but you know, those numbers was getting high. So maybe the numbers are going down. Stock market goes down, numbers go down. Does that make sense? No? Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Numbers goes down, stock market goes down. No. Number is it direct or adverse relationship? Numbers, stock market goes up, numbers go down. Number goes up stock market goes down there we go there we go that's it that's it that's it okay so it's an inverse relationship who economics who remembers that from economics okay all right okay okay <laughs> that's how people in memphis talk okay okay back down south okay 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 not care but car okay <laughs> All right, in Texas. Oh, honey, these accents kill me. All right, so in Texas, of course, Texas, we're not going to get any updated stories, okay? All right, so we're talking about two or three weeks, four hours ago. No, nearly 25% of hospitalized patients in North Texas have COVID-19. COVID updates, Texas records 10,000 hospitalizations for the first time since September. Oh, okay, here we go, second page. One in four tech, North Texas hospital patients has COVID-19, officials say. Over 18,000 COVID-19 cases confirmed since December 23rd in South Texas Board of County. Hidalgo returns to Harris County to its highest COVID-19 threat level. Is anyone listening? Harris County rises COVID-19 threat level to red as Omicron cases hospitalization surges. Texans, but no, no, no. I still don't see anyone with any masks on. So you know what? <laughs> it is what it is. Go ahead, go ahead, go out and party into brunch, into those day parties, whatever, whatever. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, okay? Texas reaches 75,000 COVID deaths. They, a day ago, they've been, they were at 76,000, but okay. Texas as an education agency updates COVID-19 quarantine protocols for school staff. Texas mother allegedly put son in trunk. Now, you know, they got some simple people in texas okay when you start putting your child in the trunk simple simple you there's just this there's no explanation just absolutely none farmers ranchers adapt businesses during COVID 19 thank you <coughs> COVID 19 testing site helping keep school doors open east texas schools closing due to COVID 19 illness okay good East Texas County Joe's battle local COVID. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> East Texas County Joe's battle local. Oh, oh, excuse me, spread. New COVID 19 testing sites open north across North Texas to combat. Of it, I guess. North Central Texas universities begin spring semester as COVID-19 cases hospitalization spikes. 
during COVID surge, a Fort Worth church is helping by offering testing and more face masks. Thank you. Thank you, church. Texas couple charged. Okay, we read that already. And conservative Supreme Court majority seems reluctant to allow <clears throat> Biden's COVID-19 vaccine mandate for large employers. Well, that's why your numbers are large. Okay, that's that's it. That's it. Dumb, even dumber. Okay, Texas Diagnostic Laboratory said holiday influx in COVID-19 testing led to delays in getting results. Well, what you, what you think? Um, COVID-19 Omicron surge altering Texas Democrats' campaign tax, tactics. Tactics. Um, COVID surge in North Texas life goes on. It it's like a fact of fact of life at this point. Yeah, they do kind of got a point. Pretty much it is. At least 35 complaints of COVID-19 test scams in Fort Worth. How can you spot a fraud, boy, from a mile away? Texas Children Hospitals report highest number of pediatric COVID hospitalization. That was four hours ago. Who I think talking. Does that give you like gas? Because it's like, bleh. okay, so in Texas, Texas has 5.09 million cases in the past 24 hours. 40,304 people. Oh my God, that's such a lot. <laughs> now, as far as death, 76,839 in the past 24 hours. 41 people have passed away. Okay, let's head to Florida. <coughs> you guys, what does Florida have to give to us? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, Camellia. It's coming and going. It's coming and going. All right, so Florida, Florida. Uh oh, numbers must be high, honey. Let me see. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Florida doesn't want to report the daily numbers, but that's okay. We know how Florida gets down. Florida reports new COVID 19 case records Saturday. COVID Omicron surge. Florida ranks fifth among states where virus spreads the fastest, but yet no one called it yesterday. Okay. Florida's COVID cases and hospitalizations are surging, but state has the second lowest death rate. Maybe because they don't report it. How about that? Yeah. Maybe because they don't report the cases. Well, anybody can have a low death rate if we don't report it. All right. All right. These hospital, those hospital, hospitalized with Omicron in South Florida, mostly unvaccinated. Um, Brevard, Brevard County, Brevard County COVID cases up 63.9%. Florida surges, case surge 40%, but yet we don't have any <laughs> documentation. Florida reports 126,000 new cases from the weekend. But yet there's nothing in it. Watch, you'll see. Um, Florida adds over 126 new COVID-19 cases this past weekend, but there's nothing. Okay, COVID, okay. Florida reports 69,914 cases, hospitalizations climb. Okay, so I want you to see this, okay? I want you to see this. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, 10 hours ago. Florida reports 69,914 COVID cases, hospitalizations, sky. Okay? You see that, right? At the Sun Centennial. Okay? I just want you to just hold that thought. Okay? Just hold that thought. Florida has no limit on price gouging COVID-19 tests. Florida sent scarce COVID-19 therapy to a private Broward clinic in Jackson Memorial. Florida school bars teaching teaching about gender fluidity and mainstream narrative of clo of covid uf researchers predict 80% of florida floridians will contract covid-19 by the end of omicron surge 80% more covid-19 variants form as covid as florida fights omicron spike florida covid hospitalizations almost 10,000 
All right, let's get to the numbers. Oh, I'm sorry, they don't really have any numbers. Okay, so Florida has 4.76 million cases. Sorry for the blur. In the past 24 hours, they don't have any. They don't, they, they, they say zero. Okay, it says zero. It says zero. It says zero, look, zero, zero, okay? Zero, none, look, 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 I'm not lying. It'll show up, hold on. Zero, new cases, zero. Seven day average, 66,000. How can it be 66,000 when you you guys just got 126,000? Okay, okay, that's because they put the zero in this state and then that lowers the daily, okay? <laughs> Now, as far as deaths, they have 62,810. How many people passed away from COVID? Zero. There you go. Zero. There you go. Zero. Look, that's this is the death chart. What do you see? Zero. Zero. Okay. All right. Well, it is what it is. Let's go to New York. I'm not surprised with Florida because we get this like at least once a week, almost, almost literally. Well, Florida feels like they don't want to report when the numbers go high, but you know, it's all of a, it's all in the right. Okay, so in New York, let's look at the. Um, excuse me, I'm a tough story. It's okay, I'm hitting. I'm I'm crashing. U.S. hospitalizations break record as Omicron surges. Live COVID updates now. Um, New York COVID pos positivity rate continues to slide, but still steep at 19.4%. New York, New York breakthrough data show Omicron's stunning December impact. COVID hospitalizations top 12,000. New York students plan class walkout over COVID-19 concerns. Omicron COVID-19 cases may have hit peak in New York. Um, early data hints at Omicron's potential toll across America. COVID Omicron updates. Experts say U.S. nearing Omicron's peak. Good. Uh, but then they're just going to flesh out another one. Syracuse health expert doesn't see central New York COVID-19 peak happening soon. Oh, okay. Uh, New York's COVID cases surged 62% as Omicron wave crashes over communities outside New York. All right. So as far as New York City, first we do New York City, then we do New York State. So New York City has 1.5, I'm sorry, 1.95 million cases. We don't know how many in the past 24 hours. As far as deaths in New York City, there's 35,906. Now, as far as New York State, New York State, they have 4.19 million cases in the past 24 hours. In the past 24 hours. Forty two thousand six hundred and forty one. That's in New York State. Forty two thousand six hundred and forty one. So the seven day average is 40,000. That's a lot, 40,000 per day. All right, that's that's a lot, that's a lot. Now, as far as deaths in New York, New York State, um, they have 90. They have 60,162, but in the past 24 hours, 90. Listen, they're saying that Bob Saget, is that his name, the guy who just died from Full House? he may possibly allegedly have had COVID. I don't know, or he got the booster. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know, they don't know. Um, they said Betty White had a stroke. Now, you know, people are saying, oh, they had all this after they had the booster. Uh, I don't know. And we may have to get, there's another booster coming in March. Help us all. Another booster is coming in March. You think? You know, like, really? Another booster is coming in March. So does that mean another variant is coming in March? You know, maybe this is a money grab. Okay, they put out the virus. Then they chance maybe, you know, allegedly some people die. But then well, either way, they're making money. Either way, because you die, these insurances are making money. The funeral homes are making money. The stock market's making money. 
Um, the poor is getting poor. The rich is getting rich. Everyone's making money. Everyone's making money. The government is issuing out, you know, this, this stimulus money. Inflation is going up. Real estate's going up. The homeless rate is going up. The death rate is going up. It's just, oh, it's just, it's just a lot. You know what? Wear your mask. Stay in. Stay in. Stay in. Stay inside as much as possible. Like tomorrow, if it wasn't for my friends, the the guy who was unhoused, who his service is from four to six, I wouldn't go. I would not leave. I said, oh, you know, I don't know if I should go there. <sighs> you know, I bought like 20 masks. I can't find them. I put them in a plastic bag. I hope I didn't throw them away. What I don't know throw those masks away. Shoot, I have to put them through those masks away. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to start hustling masks. And this is what happened today. I was outside the Salvation Army. I got some little finds today. Those I don't, those are to my heart. I don't, I don't, I usually don't share my Salvation Army. I came up today. I came up on some blue stuff today. But anyway, um, and this girl, you know, sister, she was like, you know, do you have a mask or whatever? You know, did you have a mask in your car? I was like, oh, girl, you know, oh, because, you know, I was thinking about, the new mask that I was going to put some in my car, you know, just for emergencies or whatever. But I always, what I do is those reusable, those disposable ones, I put them in my laundry. I put them with the whites, bleach them out, boom, there you go. And thank God I had, I, I don't think I get, I didn't give her one of those. I had a, like a newer one. So I gave her that one. <laughs> she was like, here, here's a dollar. You know, that only because you didn't have to. But shoot, that's a good hustle. I got my, I got my um, mask, I got my mask, you know, like in a busy area that, you know, people forget their mask or like in a parking lot or, you know, in front of Safeway or something like that where you need to have a mask or in front of a hospital or something. You know, I'm just trying to think of something. Buy them for 25 cents, sell them for a dollar, sell them for two dollars, five dollars, you know what I'm saying? Depending on where you are. That's a hustle. I can <laughs> Because you got to wear them on the bus, sell them at the uh, bus depot early in the morning. I got your mask. I got your mask. Two dollars, two dollars, two dollars, five dollars, five dollars. <laughs> I ain't playing. I'm not playing. Anyway, <sighs> until we meet again. I don't know if I'm doing videos tomorrow. I don't think I am. I might because I might come back and tell you guys about his service. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.